Hey guys, we're going to talk about this Ozark Trail 12 inch skillet. Don't mind the sweet sounds of Sonic the Hedgehog in the background. It's the only kind of peace and quiet I get to get out and uh, make some videos. So I bought this at Walmart. It's uh, available in the camping section and the 12 inch is like $14. Uh, very, very inexpensive. You can get these, you know, I think at pretty much any Walmart, you know, Ozark Trail being the Walmart name. And uh, I want to kind of show you, and you're going to see a lot of footage edited in of this being used because with something this cheap, there's always going to be naysayers. So I have, uh, I'm going to show you guys that this low budget, you know, camping grade skillet can be turned into something really, really wonderful. Now, cast iron, of course, everyone's going to have their own opinion as to how to season and, and how to take care of it and all that. I have my own way of doing things. And when I got this pan, what I initially did, and hopefully right now, wipe you should uh, start seeing some footage of me sanding this I took uh, basically a drill with a little sander and I sanded the it out as you can see in the video and uh, smoothed it out because when I initially got this it was very rough the bottom was very textured it felt like sandpaper and uh, it had a lot of you know just really high spots to it so I took the sander to it and and I didn't take it completely down I didn't get it 100% smooth I just wanted to get rid of those those really high rough spots of course, that you know happening also took out the seasoning, so I re-seasoned this. My method for seasoning is pretty simple, guys. I only use Crisco, number one, and what I do is I kind of preheat the pan. I get it so it's you know kind of hot to the touch, and then I spread the the Crisco on, let it sit for a minute or two. I come and take a, a paper towel and I wipe it out, so it looks just like it looks now, you know, just a little shiny, but no pooled in whatsoever. I put it in the oven for 450, well, actually I started at 400, crank it up to 450 after a couple of minutes, and I leave it for one to two hours. Now it's going to be a little smoky and it's going to be, you know, a little unpleasant and it smells a little goofy, but you're going to get through it. After that, I take it out, I let it cool, or I leave it in the oven, let it cool down, and then I'll do this again probably three to four times. Um, and each time, very, very thin layer of Crisco. Put it in, let it sit, wipe it with a paper towel so it absorbs it. You don't want any extra. Any extra causes pooling and, and all that and it just looks bad. If you want a nice, smooth, even finish, go with the Crisco, very, very thin. You know, of course, coat the whole thing and uh, you're good. And to, now from there, once you're done with the actual three to four layers of seasoning, start cooking bacon on it. And the trick is cook it very low, very, very low. Um, one of the big things that makes food stick, of course, is you're putting, you know, food on that's too hot and it burns, you know, kind of like almost instantly burns and sticks it to the plate. Put it on kind of cool. Make, you know, make it so you can actually touch the pan still. Put it on while it's cool. You know, wait for the, the, the grease to release before you crank up the heat. And uh, you'll have really good, and you'll see from the footage again, really good bacon, really good eggs sliding around in this pan. This pan at this point is essentially non-stick. Now, when I filmed the footage of uh, the bacon and eggs, which was about a week ago, um, it was a little more sticky than it is now. But right now at this point, I can put an egg in this, shake the pan, and the egg sloshes around. This thing is a true non-stick. Now, it's not as good as my old vintage Wagner by any way, shape, and form. You know, that Wagner is just absolutely glass smooth on the bottom of it. So you're just not going to compete. But as far as... A $14 skillet being able to turn this into something really nice for household use absolutely uh, my only complaints about this are number one that uh, it's kind of a bigger pan and my burner is only relatively small I did find it didn't heat as evenly as I would have liked the outer edges food didn't cook as well um, cast iron is really good for heating evenly it didn't in this case uh, one way you can remedy that is to warm up the pan in the oven you know, put it in the oven for like 250 or so and let the pan warm up. That way it'll get completely evenly warmed up. That's one way to remedy that. Um, but yeah, a little bit uneven, but I think it's, you know, maybe it's just because I have a small burner. Um, and I'm taking it easy because the pan is new still. Um, but yeah, other than that, it, it worked out really good for me. And uh, you can see from the footage that it did a really good job. And you're going to see a lot of kind of comparison footage in between these where I... Uh, compare this to the Wagner side by side and you'll actually be able to see how this thing fares against you know what was a, a premium skillet at one time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and bear in mind these things can be very good if you 
you know, smooth them out a little bit, season them right, and take care of them right. Oh, we'll talk about care real quick. Now, being this is very nicely seasoned, very smooth, very nicely seasoned. I don't use any soap. What I literally do is after I'm done, because most everything slides right out of this, I just wipe it down with a paper towel or a, a fabric cloth. Whatever I can't get, I use one of those plastic scrapers to get. I don't use any soap on it. I don't use anything, Brillo pads, anything like that. It's either a rag, a paper towel, or that plastic scraper, and that's all I use. And uh, sometimes if it's something's really stubborn, I'll put it back on the stove for a minute, warm it up with a little water, you know, and then go at it with the, the scraper again. But I really haven't had the need. As you can see, there's really nothing cooked on there at this point. Nothing burned on. It's done a really good job of being non-stick.